YouTube, what's up with it? Y'all already know who it is, your boy Maine from Maine Morse Creations. We back again, we got more content, another video. And on this one, unboxing. Really excited about the contents of this here package, this here piece of parcel. Um, so yeah, man, definitely excited about this here animal uh, and where it's gonna take me with a project, you know, with, with my double recessive project. So uh, I'm not gonna tell y'all what it is, y'all gonna have to stick around and see. But prior to us going further, if you have it, make sure you hit that like button. If you ain't subscribed, I don't know what's wrong with you, what you've been sipping, what you've been drinking, what meds you ain't taking, whatever's wrong with you and your noodle, you need to go ahead and make sure you do that. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. And once you hit that subscribe button, there's this little bell right next to it. So after you hit that button and it says subscribe in red, right, then there's this little buzz right next to it, this little bell. Make sure you hit that because what that's going to do is let you know every time I jump on the tube, so you'll know what to do. So you know, you'll be in the loop of what's going on. So yeah, um, we're gonna go ahead and get right into it because it's been a long day that I've working. So I wanna go ahead and, you know, unwind, but definitely gotta show y'all this. And I'm excited myself. So, that was the intro. <laughs> Here we are, and uh, cannot wait to let you guys see what this is. So this is a new pickup uh, from a good guy. I've uh, actually purchased from him before. His name is Don. He's over at Shores, Shores Enough Reptile. So uh, you don't know, you know what I'm saying? His name is Don Shores. So Shores Enough, which I actually like to play on the word, you know what I'm saying? Sure Enough, Shores Enough. Like, I, I like that. That was pretty creative. So Shores Enough, you know what I'm saying, is the name of his... Uh, business and um you should go check him out you know what i'm saying uh he got some really nice animals you know what i'm saying check him out on wolf market um man you know and, and I, I see him all the time you know at the texas shows you know what I'm saying? i know he he'd be a lot more uh he does a lot more traveling than i've done but you know what i'm saying i see him most of the time you know because i'm down here in san antonio texas so i see him at all the little texas shows you know he does the show at, in McQueen. i always see him there He's always at the show over in shirts or sell or whatever you want to call it. It's the same thing to me. But, you know, that one, Um, I've seen him at NARBC, which is coming up. So, y'all, I hope to see some of y'all there. Uh, And also, uh, like in Conroe, you know what I'm saying? I've seen him at the up in Austin at the Herb Show. I've seen him up in Arlington at a, at a Herb Show. So, you know, he definitely frequents a lot of these, uh, these shows around here, man. And I've always seen him and chop it up. You know, good conversation, good dude, man. Nice animals out there, so... That's why I picked this gorgeous creature up from. Uh, saw it and I, I saw it actually at a show. And at the time, I had just jumped into a big purchase and couldn't do it. So I ended up calling them afterwards and uh, asked them, "Hey man, you know, uh, I want to inquire about you know this specific animal." And he was like, "Well, yeah, man, I got it. You know, I ain't sold her." <clears throat> and um, kind of let him know what I had going on and talked to him about what I could do. And he was like, "Man, yeah, definitely. Uh, you know, we'll work something out." And so uh. Ended up getting her shipped out. Uh, she got her today, so let's go ahead and see what it do. I know y'all in suspense. Let's go ahead and let y'all know what we got going over here. And this is also, uh, this is a collaborative effort. I, I don't want to leave my boy out. This is a collaborative effort between me and my boy Cornette Constrictors. Uh, you know, uh. I wasn't sure if he was gonna still be on the boat with it, but I had already, you know, some 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 funds that already been got, you know, sent over. So I felt like, you know, well, if you ain't with, I'm still gonna do it. But uh, you know, we we worked some stuff out. So this is a collaborative effort. So this is kind of a joint ownership, but you know, in my possession. Um, until uh, until everything get worked out. So you know, one, I'm on your head. But that's my boy, man, little bro. And hey, look, y'all make sure y'all check him out too. Go follow him if y'all ain't because uh, he just had his first clutch. And I'm going to keep pumping and talking about it until he puts up some more content. So he had his first clutch last week and then went out of town. But um, y'all go check him out, man, because uh, he should be having some content coming very, very soon. But uh, enough about all that. Let's get into this. Yep, nice heat pack. So, yeah, see. Nice good shipping. Shipping box. Let's get this out the way here. Out the way. Oh yeah, here we go. I'm gonna put all this stuff back. I'll get this 
stuff up out of the way right now. Put that to the side, boo boo. Well, let's see what we got. I don't know if y'all can hear them crickets going off. I fed Fat Boy and Babs earlier, and so, you know, they still got a few crickets in there running around. Oh, yeah, look at this bad baby here. Y'all ready for this? Dun 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 so what we have here is a VPI Xanthic G-Stripe. And she is freaking gorgeous. Oh, yeah. So I saw her at, at a show. Like I said, I saw her. And, um, you know, I remember her, but she was balled up then. But, man, to see her now, she's even more stunning in person than I recall. She is freaking gorgeous. Y'all check that out. She nice, chill, docile. This is a gorgeous animal. And so, uh, this definitely puts me ahead in a project. So, I wasn't even thinking about, to be honest with you guys, like I had, so the thought that crossed my mind, but it wasn't something that I was really interested in, like, oh, I'm gonna pursue that. But when I saw her, I was like, man, come on. This is a gorgeous animal. Look at this, man. And I've always talked about wanting like so so I jumped into the into the exantic thing. Blah blah blah. But I'm acting like GP can't speak. But um I know he's gonna say something to me in, in either via text or one of the groups that we in or something, he's gonna say something about that. You know I gotta get on you, GP, you my boy, man. But um I'd always uh you know, I jumped in the exantic game because before I had you know, got as into ball pythons as I am now. You know, I used to like these, like, you know, uh, so my basketball team is the Spurs, you know, San Antonio Spurs, you know what I'm saying? And I don't want to hear nothing smart from now. None of you haters out there. We ain't doing the greatest right now, but we, we doing some stuff. So, you know, I'm still Spurs, ride or die, point blank period. Anyway, but, um, you know, I always used to be like, man, you know, I got to get me a Spurs snake, you know, because that's the colors, you know, silver and black. And so, uh, you know, when our old school Spurs fans, they'll probably remember, you know, we had the Fiesta colors where we had like the aquamarine kind of coral looking colors and all that. See, yeah, I'm Spurs from back in like the 90s. You know what I'm saying? Like since David Robinson, you know, say Avery Johnson back like, you know, Vinny Del Negro. You know, y'all might not know about them Spurs. Y'all probably knew her. But anywho, um, I'm digressing. But yeah, you know, this, this man. So when I first uh, looked in the Exantic, you know, um, one of the animals that actually had me interested in it was a stormtrooper. Which they still don't know what the heck genetics all made that up, but um, man, I loved how the, like certain animals looked that were like silver and black, and I always say, man, I got to have me a silver and black snake. Like I, I got to get me a spur snake is what I used to call it. And so as I've gotten more uh, familiar with morphs and you know um, became more knowledgeable in the business and um, you know in this hobby and industry, uh, you know I, I've obviously jumped into the exantic game, so. I've got a few exanthic animals already. I've got a female that's a triple head, and you know she has albino and exanthic um, VPI line, and um, possible head pie, which we're hoping to prove out right now. So fingers crossed on that. But um, I've also got an uh, an exanthic, a VPI line uh, exanthic male, um, who's also 100% head albino. So we got a few things that got a uh, you know exanthic in them already um and both of those like i said are breeder size animals you know um the male is producing plugs he just hadn't locked up with the female yet so you know i had to sub him out put in another playoff bench coach but anywho um but to to get into the recessive on a different level you know outside of just exanthic you know what i'm saying but to start adding it into other recessives that are trying to make research like g-stripe um Cause it's kind of an animal that it been out for a while, but a lot of people kind of wasn't fooling with. But it feels like it seems like now it's making a resurgence, and um, it's definitely something that I'm interested in that I'm actually working with. I've actually got uh some G stripe parents going on right now as we speak, working on some uh some double recessive stuff with that. 
So this just takes me a step further in my uh, my genetic strike game um, because I've got a double recessive genetic strike and exanthic. So now I can go, you know, a few directions, which I'm not going to tell you all the direction I'm going with it, but I already have something in mind. So, uh, you know, sick, we'll be we'll be talking soon, you know, uh, coach, high desert, you know, yeah, we're going to be we're going to be conversing real soon. But uh, I've already got, you know, a, a direction that I plan on going with this and, um, you know, Man, I can't wait. About another year and a half or so, we're going to definitely be trying to see what we can make out of this. You know, going quad hits, hopefully, um, because uh, I'm definitely going recessive with her. And um, I cannot wait to see it. But, yeah, man, I want to show you guys this lovely girl. Um, I'm going to get a weight on her and see how much she weighs and, um, you know, get her sprayed down, you know, you know my routine. And like I've said before, um really don't care how it makes anyone feel um even if you if i purchase down on from you and you're watching the video and you know i'm gonna talk about you know my process as far as quarantine everything goes in quarantine um <clears throat> just because again and i've said it before and i hope that y'all share my sentiment but there is no one animal that's worth your entire collection and that's just truly how i feel point blank period so um you know that's that's just where i'm at with that but um, man, I'm gonna get this girl set up in her in her uh tub and everything. Get her sprayed down, get her soaked for a little bit, and uh, you know we'll have some follow up videos. You know I'll, I'll do a uh, I guess like a progression video. You know later down the line. So maybe in a couple months, you know we'll see how she's gaining and all of that stuff. But um, yeah, man, excited about this girl, man. She is honestly she a little bit more stunning than I remember. You know, very mild mannered, very temperate. So yeah, I'm loving this. Um, so yeah, man, uh, again, appreciate y'all stopping through checking your boy out, you know what I'm saying? Uh, until next time, I guess we'll see you when we see you. Y'all have a good one. Peace.